Pizza. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm about to push this right now, man. See, it's, it's like a chart. All right, time to break it to the gang. Switching to Android, man. I don't know how they're gonna feel about this, but some people have to deal with the green bubbles. <laughs> I think I know. Yo, I'm. Yo, I'm switching to Android. S24 Ultra. So switching to the S. Wait, what? L phone. It was nice being friends. <laughs> Yo. Man said green text, bro. The things I have to do. Whoa! <laughs> it was just a skit. This this man really said, bro is not gonna get any girls. Yo, whoa, it was just a skit, bro, chill, god damn. All right, guys, you already know what time it is, another switching video. So today, we'll be switching over to the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, as you guys can see right here, brand new, you already know we had to go titanium since you know, my main daily driver, the iPhone 15 Pro Max I have is in titanium and I'm gonna keep this one close to me so it could draw some comparisons. To be honest guys, I've been out of the game for a minute so I haven't seen any videos on the S24 Ultra. The only thing I really know about this phone is that it's basically the same thing as last year but they have just new AI features. So this is a brand new phone. I looked at it before but I haven't turned it on or anything. So as you can see, this is the titanium gray finish and here we go so this is titanium gray already off the bat you can see it's not really gray you know what i'm saying no shots no shots thrown but this is a gray jacket gray phone let's look at this right here so the gray is kind of off but i think that's all we get inside the box we're supposed to get like a usb c cable i think we're supposed to get a usb c cable and the most important thing right here, guys, the SIM ejector tool. We're gonna need this, 100%. Put that to the side, keep it safe. We get this flimsy USB-C to USB-C cable. I never ever use them. I don't know what Samsung is doing. Let me know down below in the comments, do you guys ever use the USB-C cable that comes with your Samsung device? I just feel like it's so flimsy. All right, now we have the box out the way. It's time to unveil the beast. All right, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Here we go, the first peel. Marvelous. Always exciting, peeling off. Wait, first, first thing first, I can see how flat this thing is. I just put smudge marks on it. This is the first time I'm holding it, by the way. It does feel a little bit heavier than last year. I'm not sure if it is, but almost a little bit heavier than the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I could already feel this thing stabbing me, bro. They still have these sharp corners. I don't know why they have the sharp corners, but one thing I always complain about are these curved edges. Let me just turn this phone on real quick, but they got rid of the curved screen. I don't know why they had the curved screen in the first place, guys. To be honest, it, to me, it was just like a waste of, I don't know, time. 
Nobody really liked it. I didn't like it. It costs more to, to fix the screen if you broke the screen. It costs more to get screen protectors. It was just a headache. Finally, they got rid of it. And especially if you were playing games, I felt like it was really annoying. So thank God, Samsung, I know you like to do things differently, but thankfully, you woke up and got rid of that curved screen. Nobody liked it, all right? If I'm wrong, let me know down below in the comments. But here we go. The welcome screen on the S24 Ultra. The screen looks all right. I know they said that they had this new technology that has anti-glaring. So if your phone is like in a window, uh, I can't really tell right now, but I'll give it a try. I just have to boot this thing up and see what it's all about. The sides are really nice. I like how the sides feel. Taking a look at the top up here. Yeah, I think it's the same as last year. Just, I guess the internals are different. All right, so let's start this thing off. I probably want to transfer some stuff from my OnePlus device over to here because I kind of like how that phone was set up. So let me just transfer over some stuff and we'll get back to the video real quick. I got myself the Galaxy Z Flip. I said I was gonna get the OnePlus, but I remember I did a setup on the Z Flip when I was in Malaysia. So we're just gonna easily just transfer everything from the Z Flip over to the S24 Ultra. Scan the QR code. Show options. Is it working? All right, it's taking a while to set up, but it shouldn't be too long, you know. I already know Samsung is really good with, you know, data transfer and speed, so should be pretty quick, just like that. It's gonna take 15 minutes again, <laughs> bro. Just calls and contacts. All right, I need contacts, messages, app settings, home screen. I don't really need images. I'm gonna transfer all of this stuff right here. Let's start from a clean slate. All right, so now it's telling us that we could use facial recognition. I actually wanna see how accurate this facial recognition is. Register my face. Boom, easy. Now I'm not gonna add Samsung wallet right now. I'll do that later. I agree. You're all set up, finish. Nice. And we got that wallpaper. By the way, if you want this wallpaper, you already know what to do. Links down below in the description. I have new ones coming soon, all right? So don't worry. All right, so here we go. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Uh, right off the bat, the first thing we have to do, of course, we have to change this to 4K because I know everyone was talking about the screen and how good the screens are this year. By the way, brightness on this year's phone it's crazy. It gets up to 2,600 peak nits of brightness. Indoors, you won't get that, but when you're outside and it hits, you know what I'm saying? It, it goes crazy. The iPhone, I know the iPhone has 2,000. Yeah, the iPhone has 2,000 and the S24 Ultra has 2,600. That's actually insane. But anyways, let's go down to the resolution. Go to Quad HD. So now we're on basically like 4K screen resolution. So right off the bat, it already looks super sharp. 120 hertz refresh rate i don't know but right now the the iphone screen looks brighter i don't, I don't know why maybe because i don't know the on the it's galaxy right extra brightness so you could do extra brightness increase the maximum brightness yeah so now it's way brighter holy okay so first thing first how does the phone look like if i was supposed to choose one of these devices to be like which one i think looks better I'm not gonna lie, I have to go Galaxy, bro. I feel like the Galaxy just, the way how they lay out the cameras just looks better than the iPhone, you know? The only thing I don't like is just the sharp edges. Kudos to Samsung for removing the curved displays. I didn't like that at all, but it does feel good in the hand. It feels premium. It looks luxurious. I have to give it to them. Like, holding this, you know what I'm saying, walking around with it, it looks like a luxury device. It looks, it looks premium. It feels premium. The back glass, they both feel the same. I don't know, they work in, I don't know, Samsung probably copied Apple with the titanium thing or they had it before. No shots thrown out there, but Apple came with titanium first and then Samsung, you know, decided to jump on the, the titanium wave, but we already know how it goes. They probably had it in the pipeline before, but it's just a coincidence, like how both companies just decided to go for titanium this year. I don't know why, but I guess it's the new trend. All right, so while I was talking about the screen, Samsung claims that the screen is way more durable this year. Corn and Gorilla Glass Armor 7, and basically that has also the new anti-glare feature. So 
I, I have to try that when I go outside or with my day in the life video. But just looking at it right now, I could see it like pointing the phones. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but just pointing the phone at the, the lights in here, it's way more dim on the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to the iPhone. It's like blown out on the iPhone. So that's definitely working. And in terms of scratch resistance, again, I have to test that in my day in the life video. But Jerry, everything, when he was doing this video, it scratched at a level eight. Usually phones scratch at a level seven. So that's definitely some improvements with the screens. And as you can see, I don't really rock cases. I never rock cases, but I have a crack on my iPhone 15 Pro. Again, not sure if you guys can see it. And since I got this crack on the screen, I decided to put a case on it. But I just love how the phones feel in my hand without a case. And especially with the titanium finish, it's definitely something you're going to enjoy. Now, as I was saying, there's not a lot of things that's new this year. If I was supposed to get like a S23 Ultra versus the S24, you can't really tell the difference. Same thing with the S22. Android fanboys, you gotta get used to it. I know you guys usually clown iPhones for having the same design, but this is the same thing as last year. You know what I'm saying? But the battery life supposedly improved this year. 5,000 milliamps of power battery, but with that new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset inside, we're supposed to see longer battery lives. Again, I know I sound like a broken record, but I have to try that with my day in the life test because the S23 last year, it, it held up pretty well, but it didn't go through the entire day. So hopefully the S24 Ultra could go through my rigorous day in the life test. Can't wait to test that out. Now, something that a lot of people don't really usually test when it comes onto these phones is the speakers because they're always using the same speaker, but I love to see which one sounds better between my iPhone or even if they made a little bit tweaks. So I'm gonna hop onto Epidemic Sound real quick and blast some tunes and let's see which one sounds best. Hold on, let me go to the settings real quick on the Galaxy because I remember last time I checked the settings, they're like, yo, you should have turned on Dolby Atmos and all that extra stuff. So I'm gonna make sure the sound is at the best, guys. You know, because with Galaxy, out of the box, it, you just always need to tweak stuff. Sound quality and effects, allow Dolby Atmos. It's on auto right now. So make all your music sound richer. All right, you guys see I did it. So Dolby Atmos music, make it sound richer. I think that's all I need to turn on. All right guys, so if you didn't know right here, a lot of people like to say Android is for broke boys, but guess what? The Android S24 Ultra costs more than the iPhone. The S24 Ultra is what? $17.99. Go, it starts at $17.99 and the iPhone starts at $17.60. No, $17.49. So we're playing with the big boys right now. So let's see which one delivers the biggest audio quality. All right, starting with the iPhone. I wanna, I wanna start them at the same time. This is the Galaxy. That's the max, bro. <laughs> So I can hear it coming through the top speakers and the bottom speakers. All right, I'm pause that. Turn up the iPhone. Bro, it's the same thing. The iPhone have more bass. I'm gonna be honest, the iPhone does have a little bit more bass. It's not like thumping bass, but play the Galaxy one more time. I can't even feel it in the iPhone. Like I could feel the bass more. This is Samsung. This is iPhone. Yeah, the iPhone is way better. Every year, bro, like, come on, Galaxy, come on, Samsung. Like, we need better speakers, man. Like, I know we could do it. Now, one thing that iPhone doesn't have is, you know what I'm saying? When we talk about the Galaxy, we talk about the S Pen. And I don't think the S Pen got any new crazy features this year, but it's always nice to know that we have an S Pen on deck so it could do cool stuff, play around with all the typing gestures as you can see right here, S Pen to text. So you could just write and you turn it into text. You could hover over stuff and get animation, air actions. For example, if I want to take a group pic, I could just put the phone down and use the button on the S Pen and could take a selfie or prompt commands. So there's tons of stuff you could do with the S Pen 
And one thing I really wanted to try is the circle to search feature. So let me go ahead and jump onto Instagram real quick. All right, so here we are on Instagram. As you can see, I'm just scrolling. And for example, I want to figure out what type of car this is with Galaxy's new AI features. They call it Galaxy AI. That's basically everything that's really new with this year's new S24 Ultra, apart from obviously the new screen, the new chipset. They really focused on AI integrations. And this thing is called Circles to Search. So all I have to do is just hold down on this little button right here. And as you can see, we now have Circle to Search. So try it now. So I'm just gonna circle this Porsche. That's the new Porsche EV. And it actually brought it up, the Porsche Macon EV right here. Now that's crazy. Like usually I'd have to like screenshot something, then bring it into Google search from my screenshot. Now I could literally just circle to search anything and it brings it up, which is insane. Even if it's a video. All right, let's hold it down. Boom, circle. Oh my God, no. Sorry guys, my first, my first day, my first day. All right, circle, oh my. All right, there we go. So it just found the Instagram video, but it found a boat. So it's a boat in Thailand. It looks sick. The Royal Vacation DMC boat. All right, so you get the idea. You could literally circle to search anything. And to me, that's, that's pretty cool. Take a picture of this Galaxy box right here. And I want to try this new AI feature where it's called, where you could remove stuff. So let's go to edit right here. Tap to draw around anything you want to erase. Let's erase this box. Yo, that's actually clean. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, like you can still see the you shadow. shadow, but like if you had no idea, just looking at it, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even know. That's clean. Like, this shit got rid of everything, like from this to this. That's sick. Now, so far, the phone, it looks, it looks like there's a lot I still need to try out for sure. But one thing that I really wanted to see was also the cameras because you, I'm a big camera person. Like when it comes to cameras, I still think the iPhone has the best cameras in the game. And I don't know, it's just hard for different companies to catch up with iPhone right now. Even if it's better on, on paper, whenever I'm just filming with the iPhone, if it's video on social media, it just always looks best on Apple. That's the only reason I always stick by Apple because I love how my stories, my Instagram stuff are just super clean. And yeah, Samsung claimed that with this, the S24 Ultra, they've integrated apps like Snapchat, Instagram, like the direct app in, the direct camera in those apps is supposed to look good. It's supposed to look sharp. So I'm gonna give it a try right now. Let's just open the camera app for the first time. And as you can see, there's so much things you could do here. Like Samsung doesn't play around when it comes onto the camera. So this year we still have the 200 megapixel main camera there's like one two three four i think it's four cameras and the other one is like a lighter scanner but the main camera is a 200 megapixel main by default it's set to like 12 megapixels so you'd have to change it to 200 megapixel they did change the optical lens now from 10 times that went down to five times but i personally think it was a better move because not everybody wanted to zoom in optically like 10 times every time so i think five times a good middle ground and because of that high resolution at 50 megapixel so you still have like lossless image quality when you zoom in up to like 10 times, which is still good. Three times, 10 megapixel. It's just too much like, you know, theory. So we're actually gonna put this to the test. We're gonna go outside right now, take some pics, and you guys let me know which one looks best between the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the brand new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. One phone will be on the left and one phone will be on the right. Let the games begin. <laughs> Yeah, 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 never switch on the homies in the day ones, they didn't wanna open doors so we made some, take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young, that direct deposit hitting like a bass drum, and coming, 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 keep it in, coming, 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 keep it in, coming, never switch on the niggas that I came up with, Ay. No new friends with the same old click. A couple old homies went and stabbed me in the back, but it's no. All right, guys. So let me know. Comment down below. Pause the video. Comment down below which one you think looked best. 
was it the iPhone or was it the S23 Ultra? So, which one do you choose, left or right? All right, so the iPhone was on the right, iPhone 15 Pro Max was on the right, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra was on the left. Let me know if you guys get it right down below in the comments. All right guys, so now comes to the part that we've all been waiting for, the part that is kind of sad. We're leaving, again, the blue bubble team. We're going to green team, bro. I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't know how long I'll last, to be honest. Like last time I lasted for like four weeks or so, but I've been really enjoying the iOS ecosystem, especially I'm getting the Vision Pro soon and all that. So we'll see, but here we go. This guy looks sad, man. <laughs> the cameraman looks sad, bro. We're actually doing it, man. We're switching over to Android. So SIM card out. This is where it, this is where it gets real because you guys want to see the best day in the life, right? So I, I have to do it. This is the only way I could produce the best day in the life. I have to switch over and actually use the phone for a couple weeks, get used to everything, and then I'll film the day in the life. I just don't go into it like that because the battery life has to be optimized. It has to learn my patterns and all that. So we gotta do what we gotta do, all right? Here it is. I can't believe it, bro. We're over to the green team. Android fanboys, let me get some W's in the chat, man. Oh my God, my number is getting leaked. All right, tell us you're saying, we notice you have switched. Even my carrier is like, come on, bro. You really gonna switch on us like that? That's it. I'm gonna try the live translate feature, actually. So I'm gonna call on my boys and I'm gonna ask him to speak French and see if it actually works. Really? Yeah. But how am I know, like, if I'm talking to somebody, how am I gonna know their language? Suppose I call somewhere and they just randomly start speaking Chinese. You're supposed to know. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Because, like, you have to download, like, the whole dictionary of that language into the phone. So that's why you can, they can translate it. All right, where do I go f to find that language? Like, Thai, they are Vietnamese. Yeah, they're Vietnamese. Let's go. So my cameraman is actually Vietnamese. So actually, I could just call you, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Download Yeah, I'm gonna just call him, and we're gonna speak his language, and let's see if it translates. All right. Speak Vietnamese now. Yeah, speak Vietnamese. All right. So. Wait, wait, wait. Call assist. Live translate. Oh, I have to press it. All right, other person, Vietnamese. Wait. Hello, can I hear you well in this dress? I hear you speak Spanish back to me, yo. Oh, I'm speaking Spanish. You have to choose your English. Yeah, it says I'm English. And then the me is Vietnamese. Yeah. All right, go around there, go around, go around there. All right, other person's been in. Justin Ticks Fetcher, Dr. Something Puth is great. Do birds nest what about is going on? Dermaine on Diamond City Executive System Landscape. Try the phone 123,123. 123,000. 123, all right, say something though, like, hey guys, remember to subscribe. Like, go around there and say. Yahoo, combined with look okay. I don't want to say hello to everyone watching this video. Say something else. Oracle, everyone, please subscribe to this channel. Okay, so it's not super accurate, but it did says, everyone, please subscribe to this channel. It's kind of cool, I guess, boo. But it's not... It's not that much accurate. It's not that accurate. This guy speaks fluent Viet... He's from Vietnam. So, I don't know. I guess they still need a little bit of work to do. But yes, guys, that's, that's going to be it for this video. I'm, now I'm actually excited to try 
the S24 Ultra and all its new features that it has to offer. I feel like it's just going to be AI stuff that I'm testing out. But the camera reviews, all that. If this video gets 10,000 likes in 48 hours, today is March 1st. Friday, March 1st, 2024. If this video gets 10,000 likes in 48 hours, I'll drop my S24 Ultra Day in the Life video next Sunday. All right? So, yeah. As always, guys, remember, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out. Catch you on the next video. Let's go, green team. You know French, right? All right, speak French. Hey, how are you doing? My name is Siobhan. Do you do you want to get do you want to get food tonight? Yes, I'm very hungry. Oh, that's sick! It actually works. <laughs>